Okay, interview with Callum McIntyre. Well, Callum, congratulations. Another great victory on the road for you. Yeah, pleased. Really pleased for the players. Um, back to back away wins, hard to come by in this division. Nine points this week from three really tough fixtures. Um, Curzon, who were there or thereabouts with us in terms of a point return, we went to Southport, who'd obviously had that really good run and we played to come for last week. So, so we've got maximum points with three clean sheets. Um, I think we've done okay. So it was a really interesting game. Um, not been paid that much respect by a team ever. To be fair, in my time at Runcorn, where they'll, they'll play at home and get that many men behind the ball and give Marnie loads of credit for that. I think he's, um, he's set his team up very, very well today and made it difficult for us. And I think he, um, he's, he'll be perfect to have the manager's role here. Six wins on the bounce, four clean sheets on the bounce. Yeah, defensively, and we've used different players, haven't we? So uh, Harrison Burke started today, clean sheet, left Liam Edwards out. Kane and Coates came on, obviously just after the half. So we've used our defensive unit. Um, got to be really pleased for them. But I thought we played well. I think it's very, very difficult. You aren't going to create loads of chances. The criticism is probably similar to Tuesday night. We didn't have a great volume of chances, but we had some real good ones, didn't we? And we wasted a couple in the first half. And then I think the one we've got, uh, well, is the four attempts on goal in the six yard box. I've never seen anything like that in my life. That's when you start thinking. And then I think the time that they took for George Waring to come off the pitch actually gave us the opportunity to win the game because we were able to get in, regroup, tactically had a little plan where if one of our midfielders can slide the ball down the side for Tomo and pull it across the box, you never know, we might score a goal. Absolutely, and a word on you and Murray because obviously he came on and influenced the game. Yeah, really pleased it. He'll be disappointed because I think he's, I always think with you, Anna, that he's a bit of a, a second season player. He's really adaptable. I think he had a, a decent season last year, but he played in some of our more workmanlike performances. Um, didn't play perhaps in a lot of the home games, didn't see the, the creative side of him. I don't think he's that player, like I said, we've, we've brought him on there, we're having a lot of the ball and said, right, go on, affect the game for us. I thought he did it. it he'll be disappointed to ultimately come out of the team because he's come out of the team with an injury before the Nantwich game and how does he get back in? But I think that is the strength of the group at the moment that you had, like I say, three good players not used today in the squad. You've got some really, really decent players sat behind me with injuries in the stand and then you're giving the, the likes of Yuan, Kieran Coates, less than 45 minutes that's how strong the group is we'll only be as good as those lads that are ready to come on so I was really pleased but again I, I do just think it's really important that at times last season I think we can see that was like a lot of the home games last year where teams come and they park the bus the tractor everything that they've got all the grounds and stuff and they just park it in front of the 18 yard box at times and you have too much territory too much time and too much ball um, we'd concede a goal from a set piece in a home game like that last year. We'd concede on a counter when the game becomes basketball. And I think the players deserve massive credit that in the middle of the second half, it threatened to get that way. It did, it really threatened that they had a couple of opportunities as well in the counter attack. And I thought the way the players dug in, made clear that a clean sheet is the bare minimum. We're not leaving with less than a point. Um, we've got to be really pleased. I was going to say, is that another test pass for this side, Perseverance? We talked about mentality in the week. Um, what I think this group have done really well, look, some stuff went against us early doors and it's a very Chester thing to do that we make a drama out of it and we weren't good on the road when we were really good last year so we lose and don't play well in the first two away games. Um, we really wanted to improve at home, we have done that. The test for me has been, you know when we've needed a result, so I, you know what, I felt, it, it's a strange one, I, I love coming here and I'll always associate here with, I remember the pressure being on for the Bank Holiday game last year. It came here, we needed a result, and the players stepped up. Well, we had that a little bit with the Farsley home game, where, right, we need to deliver a performance now. We had that in the Blythe game, we had that in the FA Cup games, where there's like an obvious pressure. My criticism at times last year is when we were comfortable, we, we drew games. So when we had a really good November period, we go into the Christmas fixtures, we don't win for seven. We draw seven games on the spin, and you think about the points you drop in there, wow, 14 points. That that punishes you at the end of the season. So it's more around the mentality of the players to go, right, we are desperate for results here because we're struggling. We're on a good run. Do you want to keep that run going? And I thought they passed the test. We deserve to win the game. It'll be a late goal and it's great for the travelling fans, a lot of them, by the way. Um, it's a great way to win a game, but I, I did think we deserve to win the game. But, like I say, credit occurs because they made it very, very difficult. Defended, killed the spaces, showed us a lot of respect. Last word on the fans, they've been terrific this week. Two big followings, isn't it? Yeah, wow. Well, it's hard for people at the moment, isn't it? I think there's a lot on, there's a lot to be unhappy about. Turn the telly on, there's a lot to be unhappy. You find yourself, um, it can be a little bit depressing, and football is, is important for people. People have a lot of reasons to not go to football games at this level, and for nearly 700 to have been there on Tuesday night, I can still hear them now, by the way, somewhere over there. Um, and then that, that ridiculous, I've never seen a following like that at Curzon. Um, it was a home game, big vocal following. The players buy into it, they buy into what the football club's about, you've seen that, and I feel like the supporters buy into these players. So, you know them moments, I've said it last year, enjoy them, really enjoy the type of run that we're on. Because my my mentality is we can, we can have that 
that bit where we enjoy it for too long because the FA Cup is important to the football club, it's important for everyone. So might enjoy it for an hour. Um, but like I say, it's the FA Cup, there's prize money, there's prestige, it matters to the fans. They backed us today. Let's see if we can get them in the second round of the FA Cup come next week. Well done today. Thank you.